Put your name in salt water and get ready to have everything you want. Buddhist teachings. What we think, we become. Buddha. Imagine a simple, ancient practice that could unlock the path to everything you desire. Curious? Putting your name in salt water might just be the answer. A small act rooted in Buddhist teachings with the power to bring balance, prosperity and inner peace into your life. Here at The Journey of Wisdom, we're exploring how this profound yet easy ritual can help clear obstacles and align your energy with the universe. Are you feeling stuck or searching for something to bring clarity and fulfillment? Stay tuned, because in this video, we'll uncover how to channel the power of salt water in a way that aligns your intentions with the natural flow of life. Ready to try something new, something transformative. If you're eager to learn more about using Buddhist principles to manifest your desires, remember to like this video, subscribe, and share in the comments. I am ready to receive good vibes to welcome positivity and abundance into your life. Let's dive in and start this journey toward a more harmonious you. Number one, introducing the salt water naming ceremony. The salt water naming ceremony is a time-honored spiritual ritual found across various traditions, including Buddhism, revered for its capacity to cleanse, balance and channel transformative energies into one's life. The essence of this practice rests on a harmonious blend of nature's elements. Water, a symbol of clarity, adaptability and peace, and salt, renowned for its purifying and healing qualities. In Buddhism, these elements combined create a potent medium that aligns mental clarity with the intention to release burdens, manifest positivity, and promote spiritual growth. To fully appreciate this ceremony, one must understand the act's depth. Writing your name on a piece of paper and submerging it in salt water is more than just a ritual. It's a symbolic release of personal attachment, a surrender of control over outcomes, desires, and anxieties. In doing so, you invite in a new wave of energy, clearing space for growth, while signaling to the subconscious mind a readiness to embrace transformation, as Buddha himself emphasized, with our thoughts, we make the world. This act reflects Buddhist teachings on purification, aiding in the removal of the mental toxins that cloud enlightenment, such as attachment, aversion, and ignorance, allowing for a clearer pathway to insight and self-realization. The saltwater ceremony also aligns with the Buddhist principle that our external reality mirrors our inner state. By focusing on our desires with clarity and intention through this ritual, we can reshape the patterns that influence our lives. Scientific studies even support this notion. Water has been observed to react to words and intentions, a concept that echoes ancient wisdom about energy flow and resonance. When performed mindfully, the saltwater ritual becomes a powerful practice to heal and reset the subconscious, where much of our beliefs, habits and perceptions reside, often impacting us unknowingly. Thus, as we place our name into salt water, we send a clear message to the mind's deepest layers, reaffirming our commitment to growth and change. This symbolic act is a way of saying, I am ready to release and receive, embodying the Buddhist teaching that by changing our inner world, we influence the outer one. Whether your goal is to attract health, prosperity, love or tranquility, this ritual activates a field of attraction through the power of focused intention. It's not just about drawing in desires, but about cultivating a mindset that can observe without attachment, fostering a mental state that is both adaptable and resilient. Writing your name and submerging it with conscious intention also allows you to focus on your goals, enhancing your connection to the universe and reminding you to trust in the natural flow of life. As Zen Buddhist wisdom teaches, 
let go or be dragged. By releasing what no longer serves you, you make room for new energy, creating space for your true aspirations to materialize. As you perform this ritual, let it become a mindful practice, a moment to reflect on your intentions and feel gratitude for what is to come. The beauty of this ritual lies in its simplicity and accessibility. It requires no special tools or deep knowledge, only an open heart and a clear mind. While this may appear modest, it carries a profound spiritual significance encompassing core Buddhist teachings on purification and mental transformation. For anyone seeking to balance their energies, the salt water ceremony is a symbolic yet powerful step towards spiritual growth and manifesting dreams. By integrating this ritual into your life, you engage in a quiet, transformative practice that honors your aspirations, harnesses the power of intention, and, in subtle yet impactful ways, can lead to significant changes. In the end, as the Buddha wisely stated, what we are today comes from our thoughts of yesterday, and our present thoughts build our life of tomorrow. Let this practice be a small yet meaningful commitment to inner peace, alignment, and the continual journey toward a fulfilling life. Number two, preparing your sacred space and materials. One, prepare the items required for the ritual. To begin this ritual with purpose and intention, gather the essential items each of which carries a profound symbolic meaning, setting the stage for cleansing and aligning with your deepest desires. Begin with a suitable container, ideally made of glass or clay, as these materials are known for their grounding, stabilizing energies. Unlike plastic or metal, which may carry residual vibrations, glass and clay can hold and enhance the purity of your intentions, representing a clear path for manifesting your goals. Think of this container as a sacred vessel, a place where your aspirations take form, nurtured and protected. By choosing it mindfully, you're not just selecting a container, but honoring your dreams, reinforcing your commitment to the process. In Buddhist practice, even the smallest acts, like choosing a container, can reflect mindfulness, showing respect for your intentions. As Thich Nhat Hanh said, the mind can go in a thousand directions, but on this path, I walk in peace. Next, pure water is essential, symbolizing clarity, adaptability, and cleansing. In Buddhism, water represents the mind's purity and our ability to flow through life's changes without resistance. Just as water takes the shape of its container, it reminds us to be flexible and accepting, embodying peace without losing strength. When used in rituals, water becomes a channel for amplifying the energy of your intentions, mirroring the clarity we seek within. Pure water holds the power to dissolve negativity, washing away mental obstacles like fear, anger and doubt. Each drop brings you closer to a state of inner peace, reminding us of the Buddhist saying, a jug fills drop by drop. Just as water cleanses impurities, aligning with this purity of purpose helps us let go of unnecessary burdens, freeing us to embrace a more harmonious and open-hearted approach to life. Incorporating natural salt brings a profound element of purification and protection into the ritual. Known for its ability to cleanse and neutralize negative energy, natural sea salt embodies the grounding, purifying energy of the earth itself. Salt not only purifies, but also establishes a protective barrier, symbolizing your commitment to remain centered and resilient against negative influences. This aligns with Buddhist values of releasing what no longer serves us, much like the Buddha's teachings on non-attachment. 
The addition of salt to water in this context acts as a powerful symbol of your intention to cleanse your life of worry, resentment or fear, letting you walk a path with a lighter heart and clearer mind. This practice becomes an affirmation to let go and invite positive energy, reinforcing our inner resilience and peace. Finally, a piece of paper and a pen are needed to complete the ritual with a written intention. Writing your name and specific desires on paper deepens the personal connection to your intention, solidifying it in both your conscious and subconscious mind. In Buddhism, the act of writing carries its own sacred weight, as it's believed to convey a part of our soul's energy into the material world. When you inscribe your name and intentions, you are anchoring your goals with intention, awareness and clarity, making it more than just a thought or wish. The process becomes an intentional commitment to yourself, signaling readiness for positive change. Each object you prepare carries its own meaning, and collectively they create a focused, mindful space that readies you for transformation. As you engage in this practice, remember that intention is the heart of every mindful act. By setting a sincere intention and infusing it with mindful action, you lay a foundation for a life where peace, clarity and abundance can thrive naturally allowing each moment to become a step towards fulfillment and harmony. 2. Selecting a calm and serene space The place where you perform your ritual holds its own energy, which can either enhance or detract from your intentions. Choose a location that feels peaceful and inviting, where you can remain undisturbed. A clean, serene setting is not only visually soothing, but also aligns your mental and emotional state with the purity you seek to invite into your life. The physical space around us often reflects our inner world. By selecting a quiet and uncluttered space, you're creating an environment that mirrors your aspirations for clarity and harmony. Let this space be your sanctuary a reflection of the balance and tranquility you hope to achieve. 3. Mental and Emotional Preparation Before you begin, take a few deep breaths, releasing any tension or negative thoughts. Entering a calm, meditative state helps you to be fully present and strengthens your connection to the ritual. This preparation is similar to the mindfulness practices in Buddhism, where quieting the mind and centering oneself enhances the clarity of intentions. Focus on your breathing, allowing it to slow and deepen. This prepares your mind to fully engage with the ritual. In this state of calm, your intentions are free from distractions, allowing you to communicate directly with the energy you seek to cultivate. 4. Creating a Sacred Space If possible, create a dedicated space for your ritual. It doesn't have to be elaborate, but it should feel sacred to you. This could be as simple as a clean table with a few candles, crystals or incense, items that hold personal meaning. These objects aren't required, but they help build an atmosphere of reverence and peace amplifying the energy of your intentions. Let this space be a haven of tranquility. Each item you place can represent something meaningful, a candle for light and hope, a crystal for balance, or incense to carry your wishes upward. A sacred space enhances the ritual's power, surrounding you with symbols of harmony and balance. 5. Choosing the right time. In Buddhism, timing can influence the energy you bring to a practice. Select a time when you feel most peaceful and focused. This could be in the morning when the day feels fresh or in the evening as everything winds down. The timing should align with your energy and allow you to be fully present, 
giving your ritual the attention it deserves. Choose a time when you can feel most at ease and connected. This will vary for everyone, so trust your instincts. The right timing adds potency to the ritual, creating a rhythm that aligns with your personal energy. Do you have a specific time of day when you feel most peaceful and connected for your practice? Comment yes if you do, or be comment number one to start sharing your favorite time. Number three, steps to practice the ritual. Step one, setting the intention. To begin this powerful practice, start by taking a small piece of paper and carefully writing your name upon it. In Buddhism, a name is more than a label. It carries the depth and resonance of our spirit, representing our essence in this life. Your name is like a vessel, holding the vibrations of who you are and who you wish to become. With this name, pair a specific wish or affirmation something you genuinely seek to invite into your life. It could be something as grounding as inner peace, as uplifting as abundance, or as transformative as healing. As you write each word, do so with full attention and intention, as if you are pouring your hopes and aspirations into the world. Buddhist teachings emphasize that our thoughts and actions create waves that ripple outward, influencing the energy around us so each word should be infused with clarity and positivity, holding a vision of what you hope to manifest. This process is not merely an act of writing, but a sacred ceremony of setting intentions, channeling your inner energy to align with the universe's flow. As you craft your wish, allow each word to embody your purest desires, holding on to the sense that these wishes are already present within your life. When we consciously set our intentions, we are engaging in what the Buddha described as right thought, one of the noble eightfold path principles, which fosters a life of mindfulness and directed purpose. The more intentional and aware you are in this moment, the more powerfully your desire will resonate, magnifying its potential to take shape. Envision these desires with a calm confidence imagining them alive and flourishing in your life as if they are already here. As the renowned Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh taught, our own life has to be our message, reminding us that we hold the key to creating the reality we wish to experience. By setting this mindful intention, you are not only aligning with your desires, but also with a higher, harmonious energy that is always ready to support you on this journey. So, let your words carry the energy of hope and conviction, for with each intention we set, we plant seeds in the fertile soil of the universe, waiting to blossom. Step 2. Preparing the Salt Water To prepare the salt water for this practice, begin by taking a clean glass jar and filling it with fresh water. As the water flows into the jar, focus on its purity and clarity, recognizing this water as a reflection of your own clear mind and open heart. Imagine it as a blank canvas, receptive and welcoming of all the positive energy and goodness that life can offer. Take a moment to feel a deep sense of gratitude for the water, acknowledging it as a partner in your journey of purification, growth and renewal. The water is not just a liquid in this ritual, it becomes a living presence, a symbol of the serenity and potential that lie within you. The Buddha often taught that purity or impurity depends on oneself. No one can purify another. And here you are actively participating in your own purification. Next, as you prepare to add salt, approach this simple action with mindfulness. Each grain of salt can be seen as a small yet powerful force for positivity, protection and healing in your life. Salt, after all, has been known across cultures for its ability to cleanse, preserve and protect. Reflect on how every grain is like a bit of wisdom or kindness, 
each one contributing to a greater whole that serves to protect and uplift you. With every pinch of salt, you are inviting these qualities into your life, welcoming a wave of protection, positivity and inner peace. Gently sprinkle the salt into the water, feeling your intention deepen with each added grain. Consider this process a small yet powerful step toward aligning yourself with your true aspirations and values. Now, as you stir the salt into the water, do so with slow, deliberate movements. Feel the calmness in each circular motion, noticing how the salt dissolves and blends with the water, becoming one with it. This action is symbolic, a moment where two natural elements, water and salt, combine harmoniously, representing the union of physical and spiritual realms. By stirring, you're not just mixing ingredients, you're blending your intentions, inviting harmony, peace and alignment into your life. Each swirl is an infusion of purpose, transforming this simple mixture into something powerful. As you watch the salt dissolve, reflect on the ways you too are capable of dissolving negativity or doubt, making way for positivity to flow freely within. The entire process may seem simple, yet it is incredibly profound. In this moment, you are creating a space within yourself for renewal and letting go of any burden you may carry. This salt water becomes a mirror to your intentions and your capacity for change. How often do we take time to acknowledge and release our own burdens? As you finish, look at the clear, salt-infused water and know it's a representation of the clarity and strength you're inviting into your life. The Buddha said, Just as a candle cannot burn without fire, men cannot live without a spiritual life. In this practice you are lighting that candle within, nurturing your spiritual self and making room for the abundance you deserve. Step 3. Immersing the paper in salt water. Now, as you take this significant step of placing your name into the salt water, approach it with a sense of deep mindfulness and intention. As the paper touches the water, envision it as a symbolic gesture of releasing any heaviness, fears or doubts that might be holding you back. Just as salt purifies and cleanses, imagine it dissolving any negative energy around you, making way for clarity, peace and positivity to flow into your life. Visualize your intentions expanding outward like gentle waves on the water's surface, creating ripples that touch every part of your life, gradually sending vibrations of positivity and well-being into the universe. In this moment, your intentions are not just words on paper. They are messages you're sending out to the universe, inviting the blessings and support that align with your highest good. Reflect on Buddha's words. The mind is everything. What you think, you become. Allow this truth to settle within you, reminding yourself that by holding thoughts of gratitude, compassion and openness, you create a welcoming space for these blessings to take root in your life. Now, gently repeat a mantra or affirmation that resonates with your heart, such as, I am open to receiving all blessings from the universe. As you say this, feel each word building up a calm, steady energy within you, like a heartbeat echoing your deepest hopes and dreams. This affirmation isn't just a wish. It's a declaration of your readiness to embrace the good that awaits you. Imagine these words lifting your intentions higher, amplifying them with each repetition. In Buddhism, there's a concept known as right intention, which teaches us that the nature of our intentions shapes the direction of our lives. When your intentions are rooted in kindness, gratitude and openness, you align yourself with the flow of the universe, inviting support and guidance to come your way. Think about what it means to be truly open to blessings. Are there areas in your life where you can let go of control, trust more deeply and allow things to unfold naturally? As the paper sits in the salt water, know that this small mindful act is a way of signaling your trust in the universe's wisdom. 
an acknowledgement that you're ready to receive the gifts life has in store for you. How would it feel to live with this openness every day, believing wholeheartedly that good things are flowing to you? This process isn't about magically getting what you want overnight. Rather, it's about aligning your energy, your thoughts and your actions with the values that bring peace and purpose to your life. As the ripples from your intention spread out, consider the kind of positive energy you can continue to cultivate daily. What small changes in thought or action can you make that will nurture this openness and draw in the blessings you seek? The energy you send out into the world has a profound way of returning to you, so let this ritual remind you to live with gratitude, compassion and a heart open to all possibilities. If you've made it this far, you're already taking a powerful step towards manifesting your dreams through ancient Buddhist practices. Comment below with Salted Path to affirm your commitment to this transformative journey. Don't go anywhere. There's still a wealth of wisdom waiting for you. Stay until the end to uncover the secrets that could help bring peace, prosperity and purpose into your life. Step 4. Allowing time and trusting the process. As you place your paper into the salt water and let it sit undisturbed, allow yourself to embrace a period of patience and quiet trust. This moment is about releasing control and letting go of the need to constantly monitor or influence the outcome. Just as the salt water gradually works on the paper, cleansing it and amplifying your intentions without any interference, this is a chance to practice faith in the unseen process unfolding. It's said in Buddhism, the root of suffering is attachment. By detaching from the outcome and focusing instead on the purity of your intentions, you create a space for true transformation. During the 24-hour period, it's important to step back and trust that the energy you've put forth is working in its own subtle way, regardless of whether you see immediate signs or changes. This patience allows you to cultivate a sense of ease, knowing that the universe often works on its own timetable, not ours. After a day has passed, you may notice the paper softening or even disintegrating in the salt water, symbolizing the release of your wishes into the flow of the universe. This gentle dissolution serves as a powerful reminder that by releasing our intentions with patience, we allow them to connect with forces beyond our control, giving them a chance to grow and manifest naturally. If you feel moved to cover the jar, do so lightly, honoring this time of stillness and trust, as it encourages your intentions to settle and integrate with your heart's desires. In modern life, we often expect immediate results, conditioned by instant responses and quick feedback, but true growth and fulfillment don't happen overnight. Real change, much like this saltwater process, requires patience and the willingness to trust in things we cannot yet see. So, ask yourself, where in your life can you cultivate more patience? In which areas would letting go of control bring you peace? The practice of waiting without constantly checking back encourages us to see beyond our immediate desires and to develop resilience and calm, even when things are uncertain. By honoring the value of patience here, you give space for growth and positive outcomes to come into being on their own. Each time you choose to trust in the process, you align yourself more deeply with inner peace and allow the universe to guide your intentions without interference. Reflect on this act as more than a ritual. It's a practice of deepening your faith in life's unfolding journey, reminding you that sometimes the best results come from letting go and allowing the natural rhythm of the universe to take over. Step 5. Concluding the Ritual with Gratitude After patiently waiting 24 hours, you're now ready to complete this ritual by releasing the salt water and any remaining fragments of the paper. 
This final step serves as an act of closure, a symbolic way to let go and allow your intentions to take root in the world. Ideally, you'll pour the salt water onto the ground, reconnecting it with the earth, which in Buddhism is seen as a source of stability, grounding, and nourishment for all life. This act signifies returning your hopes, dreams, and intentions back to the natural flow of the universe, trusting that they will continue to grow and manifest in their own time. As you release the water, take a moment to genuinely express gratitude for the process and for any balance, clarity or insight that this ritual may have brought into your life. Gratitude, according to Buddhist philosophy, is a powerful energy. It opens the heart and mind, fostering a deeper connection to the world around us and welcoming more positivity into our lives. This simple yet profound act of saying thank you is not just an ending. It's a way of acknowledging the beauty of life's cycles and the wisdom of the universe. Remember, as the Buddha taught, you have no cause for anything but gratitude and joy. With this mindset, you allow your intentions to flow freely, guided by trust rather than attachment. Letting go with gratitude enriches the entire ritual, imbuing it with high vibrational energy that aligns your intentions with positivity and peace. Consider this a reminder to approach life with a grateful heart, acknowledging each small blessing, every lesson, and the beauty of life's unfolding. Step 6. Observing the Shifts After completing the ritual, take a moment to observe any subtle changes unfolding in your life. Perhaps you'll notice shifts in your emotions, new clarity in your thoughts, or maybe even unexpected opportunities appearing on your path. These small signs often indicate that the energy around you is beginning to align with your deepest intentions. By paying close attention to these gentle, positive shifts, you become more aware of the ways your intentions are influencing your reality, showing you that the energy you send out is coming back to you in profound ways. Now, as these changes unfold, understand that they may not always appear exactly as you expected. Sometimes, the process of manifesting brings forward unresolved emotions, past issues, or lingering obstacles. This might feel challenging, but in Buddhism, such moments are seen as purifying karma, an essential process of cleansing the inner blocks that might stand between you and the life you wish to create. When these old barriers rise to the surface, you have a unique opportunity to confront and clear them, allowing for a fresh path forward. Instead of seeing them as setbacks, Approach these experiences with compassion, viewing them as chances to grow, transform, and release anything holding you back. What can these challenges teach you about yourself, and how can they help you move closer to your desires? Treat each moment, whether it brings positive signs or moments of self-reflection, as an essential step on your journey. By recognizing shifts in your outer life, and reflecting on any inner changes, you cultivate a deeper understanding of the power of your intentions. The universe responds to the energy we put forth, but it also gives us the chance to refine our path by clearing what no longer serves us. So, as you move forward, ask yourself, where do you notice these shifts and how can you nurture them further? Embrace every opportunity for growth that arises knowing that even small changes hold the potential for lasting impact. By staying mindful and patient, you continue to align your life with the intentions you set, inviting positivity, growth and peace to become a natural part of your journey. Step 7. Reflecting and Sustaining Positive Energy Reflection plays a central role in Buddhist practice, offering you a powerful tool to deepen your understanding and sustain positive energy beyond the ritual itself. After you've completed this practice, take a few moments to sit quietly 
and note any shifts in your thoughts, emotions, or even in the small events around you. Writing down these experiences, no matter how subtle, allows you to see the impact of your intentions and gives form to the changes in your inner and outer world. By recording your reflections, you give yourself the chance to observe how your thoughts shape your reality and how, through this practice, you are actively aligning with the life you wish to create. Engaging in this kind of self-reflection not only builds awareness, but also strengthens your connection to the energy and purpose of the ritual. Consider whether this practice brought a sense of peace, clarity or balance into your life. And if so, ask yourself how you can integrate it more deeply into your routine. Maintaining this connection over time is essential as regular reflection keeps your intentions alive, reminding you of the goals and values that drive you. By returning to this ritual periodically, you're reinforcing a cycle of positive energy that encourages your intentions to grow and manifest naturally. In today's fast-paced world, where it's easy to get lost in daily stress and constant distractions, this practice serves as a grounding force. It's a moment to pause, recharge and reconnect with what truly matters. How often do you give yourself the gift of stillness to reflect on where you're going and what you're creating? Incorporating rituals like this into your life offers a structured way to release stress, refocus your energy and align with your deeper intentions. Moreover, Buddha's teaching, peace comes from within, do not seek it without, reminds us that true stability and purpose don't come from external circumstances, but from the thoughts and intentions we cultivate in our own minds. So, if this practice brought you a sense of clarity or a renewed sense of direction, why not make it a regular part of your spiritual journey? Think of it as a tool to help you maintain inner balance, even as life's demands pull you in different directions. The beauty of reflection is that it's not limited to the ritual itself. It's a mindset you can carry into each day, helping you make decisions that resonate with your values and goals. If you find this practice helpful, consider sharing your experiences or joining a community where you can learn more ways to sustain this positive energy. There's great power in acknowledging the shifts in your life, no matter how small, and in embracing the simple wisdom that we shape our lives by the thoughts we choose to nurture. In reflecting, you're honoring both the journey you're on and the energy you're building for the future. So take this moment to nurture, sustain, and let your intentions guide you steadily forward as you create a life filled with purpose and peace. Thank you for being here with us today. Before we dive into the next part, I just want to take a moment to express my appreciation for having you in this community. Feel free to share your thoughts or experiences with this practice. If you're new here, simply comment, starting fresh, or if you've been with us for a while, write salted wisdom. Your engagement means a lot and inspires us to keep sharing these teachings with you. Ready to continue this journey together? Let's dive back in. Embracing change as a path to true freedom. Everything changes. Nothing remains without change. Buddha. Imagine that every obstacle, every change in your life is an opportunity, not for resistance, but for growth. Buddhist teachings remind us that real peace and freedom come from accepting and embracing change, even the difficult and unexpected. But how do we transform these changes, whether big or small, into pathways for personal liberation? Join us in this exploration of non-attachment and acceptance, two principles that can help us find balance and resilience no matter what life brings. Embracing impermanence, as the Buddha taught, allows us to let go of the burdens of resistance and open ourselves to the flow of life. 1. Letting go of control for inner peace. 
Letting go of control can be one of the hardest lessons in life, especially for men who have spent decades managing responsibilities, setting goals, and striving for success. Yet, Buddhist wisdom teaches us that the desire to control every outcome leads us to inevitable suffering. In an ever-changing world, holding tightly to the idea of stability only binds us to stress and disappointment because change is the only constant we can truly count on. Rather than finding peace in predictability, true peace emerges from cultivating inner balance, a steady mind that remains undisturbed by the shifting waves of life. By practicing acceptance, we free ourselves from the exhausting grip of needing things to go our way. Letting go isn't about giving up. It's about freeing ourselves from unnecessary tension. When we approach life with acceptance, we become more open to its unpredictable beauty and find ourselves breathing a little easier, feeling a bit lighter. Equally vital is the concept of non-attachment to results, a powerful principle that liberates us to live fully in the present moment. When we stop needing life to meet our strict expectations, we gain the freedom to adapt to whatever comes our way with resilience and grace. In this way, detachment doesn't mean apathy. It means understanding that life's value is found in the journey, not just the outcome. Often, men are conditioned to see success as a destination. But in truth, every twist and turn offers a lesson, a moment of growth. The natural flow of life becomes visible when we loosen our grip on how things should be, allowing us to be more present, adaptable, and ultimately more fulfilled. A quote from Lao Tzu complements this teaching perfectly. If you realize that all things change, there is nothing you will try to hold on to. This insight encourages us to embrace life's fluidity, to respond rather than react and to find our strength not in rigidity, but in our ability to remain calm and centered amid life's changes. In today's fast-paced world, embracing change isn't just wise, it's essential for maintaining mental and emotional well-being. Change is everywhere, in our careers, our relationships, and our inner worlds. By practicing these teachings, we learn to live more fluidly, unburdened by a need to control every detail, free to move with life rather than resisting it. As we do, we open the door to true freedom, a freedom that doesn't depend on external stability, but is rooted in a balanced mind and an open heart. Remember the wise words of the Dalai Lama. Sometimes not getting what you want is a wonderful stroke of luck. By letting go of control and attachment, we allow life to unfold naturally, often leading us to outcomes we couldn't have planned but are perfect for our growth. In learning to let go, we don't lose anything of value. Instead, we gain a profound sense of peace that arises from within. 2. Viewing challenges as growth Embracing change and viewing challenges as pathways to growth is a powerful mindset that can lead us toward true freedom and inner peace. In Buddhism, obstacles aren't merely inconveniences or setbacks. They are deeply meaningful opportunities for growth, moments that invite us to deepen our practice of patience, compassion and mindfulness. Every difficulty, whether it's a minor inconvenience or a major life upheaval, serves as a reminder of the impermanence of all things and gives us the chance to learn, evolve and connect more genuinely with our true nature. When we stop resisting challenges and instead welcome them, we start to cultivate a resilience that doesn't break under pressure but bends, adapting and growing stronger with each experience. Reflecting on your life, think about the times when change has knocked on your door perhaps unexpectedly or even unwelcome. What did those experiences teach you? Maybe it was a lesson in letting go, learning to release control, or finding strength in vulnerability. 
In Buddhism, this process of reflection, or vipassana, is not just about replaying memories, but diving deeply into what they reveal about our desires, fears, and attachments. Each reflection is a chance to see where we might still be holding on too tightly or where we're resistant to life's natural flow. How might these reflections make you better equipped to handle the next challenge or change that comes your way? When we look inward and learn from our experiences, we build an inner clarity that transforms each challenge into a teacher and every hardship into an invitation to grow wiser. The only real failure in life is not to be true to the best one knows, Buddha reminds us, highlighting the importance of staying connected to our values and inner truth, especially when times get tough. Challenges also invite us to explore the nature of suffering itself. Suffering is a core concept in Buddhism, where it's understood not just as unavoidable pain, but as a force we can transform through awareness and understanding. When we meet suffering with an open heart, we lessen its intensity and reveal its deeper lessons. Imagine seeing suffering not as something to run away from, but as a teacher guiding you to greater understanding. What if the discomfort you feel during tough times is actually showing you a part of yourself that needs healing, acceptance, or compassion? This approach doesn't mean we should seek out suffering or invite pain into our lives, but rather that we have a choice in how we respond when it does arise. As Buddhist teacher Pema Chodron once said, Nothing ever goes away until it has taught us what we need to know. Are there lessons waiting for you in the current challenges you're facing? Taking the time to view these situations as opportunities rather than obstacles helps shift our perception. Instead of feeling like victims of circumstance, we start to see ourselves as active participants in life's unfolding. We come to realize that we have the power to shape our responses and in doing so, we become more free from the things that once held us captive. When we treat each obstacle as a way to deepen our awareness, build resilience and embrace compassion, we begin to live more fully and with greater wisdom. So, the next time a challenge presents itself, ask yourself, what lesson is this moment offering me? How can I grow from this experience? By adopting this perspective, you'll find that every challenge becomes a gift, every difficulty a chance to expand, and every moment of change a path to true freedom. 3. Practicing Non-Attachment Daily Practicing non-attachment is not about rejecting life or giving up desires. Rather, it's about liberating oneself from the grasp of emotional dependence on fleeting circumstances and material possessions. Each day as we go about our routines, we can find ways to live with greater inner freedom by observing our thoughts and emotions without letting them dictate our happiness. To start, simply acknowledging emotions as they arise, without labeling them as good or bad, can build a sense of calm detachment. When anxiety, frustration or longing arises, pause, breathe and silently note, I am feeling. This small habit allows us to step back, helping prevent these emotions from taking control. As Buddha taught, pain is certain, suffering is optional, reminding us that while life's ups and downs are inevitable, our response defines our peace. Practicing non-attachment can also transform our interactions with others. Often we seek validation or appreciation, unconsciously tying our worth to others' opinions. Try to engage in conversations by actively listening, releasing the urge for recognition or the need to be right. This shift encourages authenticity in our connections, helping us to give freely and enjoy others without the need to cling to any specific outcome. Embracing the flow of giving and receiving is another path to release attachment. One method is to let go of items that no longer serve a purpose. This could be as simple as gifting an unused item to someone who might benefit from it more. The act of giving, free of attachment, 
nurtures an open-hearted spirit, teaching us to enjoy things while not being bound to them. Meditation on physical sensations, such as a body scan, can further support this practice. Observing any discomfort without resistance teaches us to exist with sensations rather than resist or overly cling to them. This practice can also apply to our attachment to comfort itself, strengthening resilience and flexibility. Reflect on the idea that, as Buddhist teacher Thich Nhat Hanh once said, letting go gives us freedom, and freedom is the only condition for happiness. Imagine the sense of calm we gain when we are not reliant on things or feelings to secure peace. Cultivating an awareness of ownership is a powerful way to recognize our emotional reliance on material things. Next time you reach for your phone or favorite gadget, ask yourself if you'd still feel whole if it were gone tomorrow. Such reflections remind us that our peace isn't dependent on physical objects and that our essence remains whole without them. Another gentle exercise in non-attachment is releasing regrets of the past and expectations for the future. As the day winds down, take a moment to say to yourself, I let go of today's events. This practice fosters an appreciation of the present, reducing the weight of lingering regrets or unchecked expectations. Loving relationships are also fertile ground for non-attachment. Instead of depending on others for happiness, cultivate love as a gift you give freely, respecting both your independence and that of others. This approach doesn't encourage detachment, but rather nurtures a love that accepts people as they are, free from controlling expectations. Non-attachment to daily desires can be as simple as writing down a few things you hope for each morning and reminding yourself that these outcomes won't define your day's happiness. Release attachment to these wants with the understanding that peace is found within, regardless of what unfolds. Finally, embracing joy in each task itself, rather than the outcome, can turn mundane activities into fulfilling experiences. Instead of fixating on goals, immerse yourself in the process. This habit aligns with Zen wisdom. The journey is the reward. Gradually incorporating these exercises into your day-to-day -day life can lead to a mind that is both peaceful and resilient, with a heart that feels lighter and freer, unburdened by the need to cling to things outside your control. True freedom comes from the gentle art of non-attachment, from cultivating joy in each moment, not because of what we have, but because of who we are within. What is one small habit you can try today to practice non-attachment? Comment below with a quick response, like letting go of past regrets or releasing expectations. Let's inspire each other on this journey to inner peace Beyond Wealth, Cultivating the True Treasures of Heart and Mind in Buddhist Teachings. True wealth is not found in the pocket, but in the heart. Imagine just for a moment that a large sum of money will enter your account today. What comes to mind? Perhaps the freedom, the choices, the comfort it might bring. But today, let us take a different path a journey into a wealth that no bank can hold. In the teachings of the Buddha, real abundance lies beyond dollars and cents. In a world of constant change, true wealth is measured by our compassion, our clarity and our inner peace. Today, together, we will unlock a unique kind of deposit, a wealth of gratitude, wisdom and boundless love that can transform our lives in ways money cannot. Join us as we dive deeper, not just into material gains, but into the richness of the mind and heart, a wealth that lasts. Number one, the concept of assets in Buddhism. In Buddhism, assets encompass much more than what one might traditionally consider wealth. 
The Buddha taught that genuine richness is not derived from possessions or financial prosperity, but from the deep-seated qualities of wisdom, compassion and inner peace, qualities that are immune to decay, theft and the passage of time. The wealth of a person is in his virtues, not in his riches, echoes an old Buddhist saying, pointing us toward a form of wealth that is timeless and profoundly sustainable. A core asset Buddhism champions is wisdom, the capacity to see life's truths and embrace the reality of impermanence. Wisdom reveals to us that everything in life is transient, from our joys to our sorrows, helping us cultivate a calm acceptance that mitigates anxiety and diminishes attachment. This understanding acts like a compass, guiding us through life's inevitable ups and downs without being swayed by gain or loss, as we come to realize that peace is born not from what we own, but from our outlook on life itself. Accompanying wisdom, compassion, stands as a foundational asset that enriches not only our own lives, but also the lives of those we touch. Compassion in Buddhism is not a fleeting feeling, but a profound and lasting state that fosters love and understanding toward all beings. The Buddha once said, just as a mother would protect her only child, even at the risk of her own life, cultivate a boundless love toward all beings. This capacity for boundless love empowers us to rise above self-centered pursuits and instead nurture an inner richness that transcends any material achievement. Compassion connects us deeply to the world around us, offering an enduring satisfaction that shields us from the perpetual race of comparison and competition. In this sense, compassion becomes a source of wealth that fills the soul, grounding us in meaningful relationships and a purpose that makes our lives truly abundant. Finally, Inner peace is arguably the highest form of wealth, a state untouched by external circumstances. Inner peace emerges when we learn to let go of endless desires and rest in the acceptance of what is. In this tranquil state, we are free from the cravings and fears that so often dominate our minds, allowing happiness and serenity to arise naturally and deeply. Buddha taught that Peace comes from within, do not seek it without. By understanding and embracing this, we find a treasure that is beyond price, a tranquility that remains regardless of external changes. Inner peace becomes the foundation upon which all other wealth rests, a calm presence that no amount of money could buy. In Buddhism, therefore, the concept of wealth transcends the physical and monetary, shifting our attention to qualities that are eternal, fulfilling and independent of external circumstances. In a world that often places immense value on accumulation and success, cultivating these spiritual assets, wisdom, compassion and inner peace, offers a path to a life that is rich, free and deeply content. As we nurture these qualities within ourselves, we begin to experience a fullness that material wealth alone can never provide. With these assets, life takes on a richness beyond measure, a wealth not just of mind, but of spirit, as we live with a freedom and fulfillment that is truly liberating. Number two, faith and receiving blessings from within. Buddhism teaches us that true blessings are not something to be searched for externally. They begin within us, in the depths of our own soul and the strength of our inner faith. When you think of receiving blessings, consider this. What if the real source of blessings is already within you, waiting to be awakened by your own belief in your worthiness, your potential and the goodness that exists in you? As the Buddha taught, you, yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. When you genuinely believe that you are deserving of love, peace and good things, a powerful energy begins to move in your life, attracting blessings naturally. But if doubts and anxieties fill your heart, 
these become barriers, hindering the flow of blessings that could otherwise enrich you. Embracing blessings from within is a practice of gratitude and presence in each moment. No matter what is happening around you, whether life is abundant or challenging, you have the capacity to find peace and joy by turning inward. This internal harmony is not influenced by outside opinions or circumstances. It is a calm state of being that allows blessings to grow naturally, just as a still lake reflects the sky perfectly without distortion. Imagine yourself as this lake, calm and open, unaffected by the waves of praise or criticism, success or failure. This is where blessings flourish, as peace and clarity create a fertile ground within your mind. In daily practice, one way to nourish these blessings from within is through affirmations that resonate with your worthiness, such as, I am worthy of peace, or I am open to receive all blessings life has to offer. Such affirmations are not a form of wishful thinking or forceful hope. Rather, they are seeds of peace you plant within yourself, helping to cultivate a mindset that welcomes blessings with openness and faith. This type of faith goes beyond waiting for things to change externally. It's about fostering a deep trust in your own strength and in the power of self-acceptance. Ultimately, real blessings do not come from the outside. They are born from an understanding of yourself and a commitment to live with gratitude, acceptance and inner peace. As you let go of fear and open your heart, you'll discover that the fulfillment you seek does not need to be granted by anyone else. When you trust in yourself and nurture positive beliefs, life naturally becomes richer, more meaningful and more joyful. Ask yourself, are you ready to unlock this inner blessing? Embrace it and you'll see that true blessings have always been within, waiting for you to welcome them with open arms and a peaceful mind. Number three, releasing resentment and forgiveness. Forgiveness in Buddhist teachings is not just a kind act, but a transformative practice that sets our hearts free from the burden of resentment and suffering. The Buddha once said, hatred does not end by hatred, but only by love. This powerful teaching reminds us that forgiveness is a healing act for ourselves more than for anyone else, a way to release the heavy load we may carry in our hearts and minds. Resentment is like a stone we hold close, weighing us down, trapping our energy, and preventing us from moving forward with clarity and peace. When we cling to resentment, we build invisible chains around our minds, blocking our ability to welcome joy, love, and blessings into our lives. Forgiving is like letting go of this weight, allowing us to experience a lightness that opens us to peace and gratitude. But what exactly is forgiveness in the Buddhist sense? It is not a passive acceptance of wrongdoing or a justification of harmful actions. Rather, it's a conscious choice to release the negative emotions that arise from hurtful experiences. By forgiving, we regain control over our emotions no longer letting the pain of the past dictate our present state of mind. It's a courageous step towards self-compassion, allowing us to meet ourselves and others with empathy instead of bitterness. Imagine forgiveness as a form of inner cleansing, a way to wash away the residue of anger and disappointment so our hearts can be open again to peace and wisdom. There is a well-known story in Buddhist teachings that beautifully illustrates the essence of forgiveness and letting go. Once, two monks were traveling together and came across a river with a strong current. At the riverbank, they saw a young woman struggling to cross. One of the monks, despite their vows to avoid contact with women, decided to help and carried her across the river. The other monk remained silent but he felt uneasy and troubled by his companion's action. Hours later, unable to hold back his frustration, he said, how could you carry that woman on your shoulders? It is against our practice. The first monk simply replied, brother, 
I put her down hours ago. Why are you still carrying her? This story reminds us of how we often carry resentment or judgment within us, letting it weigh down our minds long after the moment has passed. True forgiveness means letting go of what we no longer need to carry, releasing ourselves from self-inflicted suffering. Forgiveness can be cultivated through mindful practices like meditation, especially metta or loving-kindness meditation. In this practice, we generate thoughts of kindness and well-being toward ourselves and then extend them to others, including those who may have hurt us. In a quiet, reflective state, we imagine the person who wronged us and send them thoughts like, may you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be free from suffering. With time, we can transform the negative emotions into feelings of compassion, liberating ourselves from anger and resentment. This act of sending compassion may seem challenging at first, especially when the wounds are fresh, but it gradually eases the bitterness and fills our hearts with calm and understanding. Releasing resentment and embracing forgiveness is like opening a window to the soul, allowing fresh air to replace stagnant, heavy emotions. When we forgive, our minds become more receptive to new opportunities, blessings and relationships, no longer trapped in the memories of past hurts. By choosing forgiveness, we give ourselves a gift, the gift of peace freedom and presence. Living fully in the present moment becomes possible when we are no longer chained to painful memories or grudges. Imagine how it would feel to carry no anger, to walk through life without resentment and to greet each day with an open heart. So, consider this. Is there something you're still holding on to that you could release? Is there a way to forgive that might bring you closer to peace and happiness? Forgiveness is not always easy, but it's a journey worth taking. When we learn to forgive, we unlock the door to our own freedom, finding within us the strength to live with compassion and joy. Letting go of resentment isn't just about the person we forgive. It's about giving ourselves the gift of liberation, setting our spirit free to live fully and deeply in every moment. If you've watched this far, you're already taking the first steps toward discovering the true treasures of heart and mind through Buddhist teachings. Comment below with true wealth to affirm your commitment to cultivating these inner riches. Don't go anywhere. There's still a wealth of wisdom waiting for you in this video. Stay until the end to unlock deeper insights that will help you live a life of true abundance. Number four. Spiritual Protection and Healing Spiritual protection and healing in Buddhism are profound concepts, not rooted in external shields or magic, but deeply embedded in the cultivation of inner resilience and wisdom. The Buddha's teachings remind us that our true power to overcome suffering lies within us, emerging through disciplined practice and a keen understanding of our own minds. By nurturing this inner strength, we are not merely avoiding life's hardships, but transforming them into catalysts for growth. Buddha once said, peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. This guiding principle leads us to a path where protection is not something we seek from outside forces, but something we cultivate from within by mastering our reactions, nurturing faith and living wisely. True blessings are born from a steady heart that remains calm despite the turmoil of life. This calmness becomes a shield against the chaos of the world, a quiet strength that cannot be easily shaken, and a beacon that illuminates our way even in times of darkness. Peace of mind arises when we deeply comprehend the impermanence of all things, realizing that difficulties are fleeting they are moments that, like everything else, shall pass. This awareness provides a sense of stability, a calm center within the storms of life. In modern times, where we face constant stress and uncertainty, the power of positive affirmations becomes a potent tool to reinforce our belief in our own resilience. Affirmations like, 
I have the strength to overcome any challenge, or peace and wisdom are my sources of strength, are not mere words. They are anchors that guide our minds back to calm and focus, helping us cultivate a positive mindset. Just as a plant grows stronger with each passing season, these affirmations gradually build a strong mental shield within us. They remind us that we are capable, that our inner resources are enough to face whatever life brings, and that our peace is not dependent on anything outside ourselves. The daily practice of affirmations aligns our minds with strength and stability, allowing us to respond to adversity without confusion or despair. This self-cultivated confidence in our ability to protect and heal ourselves reinforces the idea that the power to safeguard our well-being lies within us, ready to be accessed with a calm, steady heart. Through the blessings of wisdom and practice, we gain a sense of freedom, an internal liberation from the grip of external circumstances. We no longer depend on others or the conditions around us to feel safe or protected. Instead, we build a resilient, peaceful self, a fortress of calm that stands undisturbed by external storms. Every setback becomes an invitation to rise stronger, every challenge a lesson to sharpen our understanding. As the Dalai Lama said, calm mind brings inner strength and self-confidence, so that's very important for good health. With this understanding, we walk our path with greater courage and clarity, knowing that the ultimate source of protection and healing is our own cultivated peace. In this way, each step we take is a testament to our growing wisdom, each hardship a stepping stone to deeper strength. This journey of inner resilience offers the most profound protection we can attain, a peace that endures and an inner strength that allows us to thrive regardless of the outer world's turbulence. Number five, living in harmony and sharing love. To invite more blessings into our lives, one profound path lies in living harmoniously with others and sharing love openly and freely. Buddhism teaches that compassion and loving-kindness are not only a means of bringing happiness to others, but also the seeds of positivity and peace that nourish our own souls deeply. When we genuinely share our love and blessings with others, we create an ever-expanding circle of goodness, a powerful current of kindness that ripples out, touching lives and inspiring change. As the Buddha once said, Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. Imagine this for a moment. Every kind word, compassionate act, or gentle smile we offer others plants a seed of joy not only in their lives, but also in our own hearts, helping these blessings multiply and spread beyond what we can even see. The concept of sharing doesn't only mean giving material wealth, it extends to spiritual assets like compassion, empathy, and sincere encouragement. These are gifts that anyone can offer, regardless of their circumstances, and they often have the most profound impact. When we openly share these inner assets, we become a beacon of peace and light, radiating comfort to those around us. Sharing love helps others feel acknowledged, valued, and understood, while deepening our own sense of compassion and empathy. This, in turn, strengthens our bonds with others, allowing us to connect sincerely from heart to heart. So, what are the spiritual assets that you hold within you, waiting to be shared? By offering them, we not only uplift others, but also nurture our own hearts, becoming more peaceful and grounded. Practicing this type of sharing also teaches us gratitude and helps us release the attachment to personal gains or recognition. The Buddha said, If you knew what I know about the power of giving, you would not let a single meal pass without sharing it in some way. This doesn't only refer to physical meals, but also the nourishment of kindness and support. When we open our hearts to give without expecting anything in return, we actually create the conditions to receive love and support from others in abundance. 
Compassion and love are treasures that only grow the more we share them. In this way, the act of giving becomes an act of receiving, a true expression of interconnection with our community and the world. When we strive to live harmoniously with others, bringing peace into each interaction, blessings flow naturally. Think of compassion and sharing as good seeds sown in the hearts of everyone we encounter. These seeds of kindness don't require grand gestures. Small acts like a smile, a thank you, or a few words of encouragement can have an incredible impact, bringing joy and calmness to those who might be struggling in ways we don't see. Each time we choose love and peace, we cultivate a garden of blessings, not only for ourselves, but for everyone around us. This interconnectedness reminds us that, at the heart of it all, our well-being is bound to the well-being of others. Can you think of a small, kind gesture you might offer today? Perhaps it's a comforting word to a friend, a moment of patience with a stranger, or simply a smile to someone who needs it. Living in harmony and sharing love allow us to create a world where kindness grows and blessings thrive. This way, we not only nurture our inner joy and peace, but also contribute to a positive environment where everyone can flourish. It is in this spirit of giving and living harmoniously that we find the richest rewards in life, the gift of connection, understanding and compassion. This is how we contribute to a world of light and warmth, which, in the end, is the greatest gift we can both give to and receive from life. As we wrap up this journey, remember that small, mindful practices like the saltwater ritual can create profound shifts in our lives. By engaging with intention, we align ourselves with the flow of life and invite harmony, prosperity and peace to naturally blossom. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to The Journey of Wisdom. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss our upcoming explorations into Buddhist wisdom and life-transforming practices. Let's walk this path together, bringing more peace and clarity into our lives. Thank you for watching, and may your journey be filled with blessings and inner growth.